briefly here on the lift equation and why we're concerned about this uh, here, especially at APS emergency maneuver training, when we're dealing with learning how to efficiently recover an airplane in an upset. Um, let's touch here briefly on the factors of the lift. First of all, L being the lift or the total lift that the airplane is producing at that point in time. And again, we're talking about a fixed wing aircraft here. Um, CL being the coefficient of lift. And the coefficient of lift is a function of the shape of the wing and the angle of attack at which that wing is. We'll come back to that here in a second. Rho, right here, one half rho, uh, is air density. V being airspeed and S being the surface area of the wing. Now, as you e multiply these out, these factors out, it gives you the total lift that you have in that point in time. Now, what's important about understanding these factors is here at APS Mercy Training, we teach you how to use tools that will help you to optimize and efficiently recover the airplane, or I should say, really manage your lift and optimize your lift and that's really the key to a recovery. We're not trying to necessarily maximize our lift but optimize it for the scenario given to us in the upset. Um, with us understanding here that the coefficient of lift is a function of the shape of the wing, well you're obviously fixed with the shape of the wing that you have, but the other factor is angle of attack. And so, most certainly, angle of attack is something that you control. As you fly along from second to second, air density is not necessarily, you're, you're, you have to live with the air density or the air mass that you're in. Now, speed, you certainly can control the speed that you're in. And again, the surface area of the wing, that's fixed as well based on the design of the airplane you're in. So, for you as the pilot, for practicality purposes, the main factors you're concerned with are airspeed and coefficient of lift which in your mind should be angle of attack. So you should always be thinking airspeed, angle of attack. The tools that we're going to give you to help recover the airplane most certainly are going to learn or we're going to learn how to manage angle of attack, control our angle of attack because it is the one that we can control and change quickly even compared to airspeed. Most certainly we can uh, increase or decrease airspeed but not near as effectively or efficiently as angle of attack. So we go into more depth in understanding how these are related in our upset recovery here at APS Emergency Training. And again, we're not trying to be uh, geeks about, uh, about lift or anything, but we're simply trying to provide the foundation on which you understand what we're doing in these recoveries, which gives you, gives you confidence, in being able to maneuver your airplane and understand why you're doing what you're doing in the recoveries. Thanks for joining me. We got more coming up.